These are my shorts. I only have one pair. Knock off Rick Owen pods by H&M. These days they're looking pretty worse for wear. With the thermostat hitting a heady 17 degrees across Glasgow, it's officially summer and time to add some shorts to my wardrobe. The plan is to clone these and make a pattern that I could use multiple times. For materials, I picked up three sweatshirts from a local vintage shop. After the usual unpicking session, I took various measurements from the original and made a loose plan. I decided to try and make a digital pattern in Clow. It's an excellent tool that I'm really just playing around with for now, but the results I got were… well, see for yourself. Undeterred, I forged ahead, deciding to draft the pattern by hand. At this point, I have no idea how the finished garment will look. I was a little generous with all my measurements so that I would have fabric to cut away in the fitting. The New Balance jumper would be used for the back panel and pockets. The Purple Heart jumper would make up the front and side panels with the graphic split across the sides. The sleeves were stitched together to make the crotch panel. I focused on the five main panels, ignoring the pockets for now. When sewing, I used the longest possible straight stitch and didn't put a lock stitch at the ends. This made it quicker to rip the seams as I made alterations. This is the second fitting, and when I dubbed them the nappy short. I had already taken a sizable chunk out of the back panel. After the second fitting, I decided to take the curve off the back of the crotch panel. Apparently, I'm happy with this pointy bumcock look, and we're moving on. I needed to take some of the excess fabric out of the waist. To keep as much fabric as possible, I made diagonal cuts on the front panel and the join between the back and side panels. I only did this on one side before committing completely. You can see the side seam flares forward, but it did sit nicely on the back, so I straightened up the cut on the front right panel and replicated the same cuts on the left. This was the end result. The pointiness has definitely been minimised, and I quite like the look when there's a half turn in my pose, but I might have had better results reducing the width of the crotch panel first rather than raising the back. I have lost a lot of the impact of the dropped crotch that make the pods look so good. But it was late and I was pushing on. I took the panels completely apart and updated the original pattern, adding some notes where some sections could have been longer. We move on to the pockets and I measure out the width of my hand and the length of my phone plus the drop of the pocket opening and cut them out, curving one corner. I thought it would be cool to split the New Balance logo and make it visible across the pockets. Notice the stupid mistake. These panels should have been round the other way. Anyway, with the parts all cut, I sandwiched up the front panels and the pocket panels without the graphic, being extra careful to make sure that each panel was arranged properly. Then I freehanded the shape of the pockets giving me four symmetrical cuts. Placed right sides together, I sewed up the opening, flipped and pressed the seams before top stitching down the pockets. This was the best bit of stitching I did of the whole project and I'm really quite proud of the results. Now I just had to sew up all the seams with a straight stitch and a zigzag to stabilise the raw edges. And here we are, just the waistband and hemming left. The plan was to use the ribbing from the New Balance for the waistband. Of course, it's exactly the same size as the elastic I'm using, so there was some stuff to figure out. I had the ribbing from the other jumper, so I figured I could join the two together to get enough material. I cut the ribbing to length and sewed them together with a zigzag stitch. This did not work. The ribbing was horrible to sew in the machine. It stretched while being pulled through and gave me this unwanted wave. I pulled out all the scraps to see if there was anything else I could work with. There was not. I was done for the day. Right, home stretch, we're nearly done, I promise. I had to make the ribbing work, so I took a breath and ironed everything out flat. To make it more controllable in the machine, I pinned on some webbing. This had no stretch whatsoever, 
and very slowly stitch the two parts together. I unpinned and pressed the waistband into shape. It had worked, just about. It still had some kinks to it, but I could definitely work with this. I positioned the elastic and marked the width. Adding seam allowance, I cut to length, then joined the ends of the new balance ribbing to make a loop, but leaving an opening to feed in the elastic. I pinned the band to the shorts and sewed it all up with a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch. Then some faffing about with the elastic, an ugly job joining the ends, and then I could tackle the hems. I had already lost a lot of length in these with all of the adjustments, so I figured I would just cut them straight and sew up the raw edge. I did some tests on an offcut to find the fanciest setting on my machine and ran them through. Finally, I hand stitched the opening on the waistband and here is the finished garment. These are great. I'm going to wear them a lot. I'm going to make another pair of them in black. I may even make a limited run of these and sell them to idiots. We'll get to their faults, but for now, I'm just going to enjoy this. This is the worst of my sewing, something only I will ever notice. I was overly generous with the seam allowance on the waistband, so it does look a bit baggy here. The pockets pop open to reveal the inside seam. I maybe didn't leave enough overlap on the top edge or sewing them into the side seams was the wrong thing to do. If you have an answer, please let me know in the comments. The two graphics clash horribly, so color blocking an outfit is a bit of a challenge. And sure, the pointy bum cock thing isn't for everyone, but I'll figure it out in the next one. These are the NS22s, and they're the first garment that I've made on this channel that I'm properly happy with. If you made it this far in the video, go on, give me a sub, I think I've earned it. 